Paul Ehrlich was uh, actually a, a professor of mine back years ago. Remember, one of the things he talked about was that he thought the uh, sort of the maximum carrying capacity for the human population was about one and a half billion people. I wonder if either of the two of you has an opinion about what you think the uh, human population should be. Well, the, the question, Al, being do we have an opinion of what the maximum uh, sustainable human po population of the world would be? And the point being that Al, Bar Al, or that Al, excuse me, Paul Ehrlich said that it was uh, two billion. Actually, I think I heard Paul the other day say it was now he felt to be uh, less than a, a billion. So he's going downward. Well, uh, I'd have no idea. You know, David Pimentel at Cornell University is a global agricultural scientist, and he has said, estimated, you can't do a formula like in physics and, and the number comes out and say, here's the sustainable population. You, one of the first things you have to ask is, well, how would you like to live? If you'd like to live the way that people live maybe in Uganda, well, you get a large number for the carrying capacity. If you'd like to live the way we in the United States live, you get a much smaller figure. But David Pimentel, I think, has estimated that at the U.S. dietary level, a global population of two billion could be sustained. For the U.S., at the U.S. present dietary level, estimates are somewhere around 100 to 150 million, something like that. And now in the U.S. case, now we've passed 300 million, the global, and so it's, it's more than a 50 percent reduction. And in the global case, it's about a reduction to 30 percent of, of the present population. But, you know, uh, if you think about it and, and what they're saying is that you could sustain the U.S. population about the size it was at the time of World War II. And, you know, we got along pretty well. That was a, it was a nice country, and, and uh, we, we, we got along very well up until uh, the Depression was a, a problem, but that's an economic problem and a fiscal problem, but there weren't the problems of congestion and, and uh, pollution and so on that we see today.